the time being, there is no other way. So what are these different lenses actually? Well, aside from the primary camera, there's two types of lens that we tend to see again and again on phones. The first is the ultrawide, which tends to be the best way to capture everything that's happening in a room at once. As well as on most phones, the best way to take a macro photo. Macro essentially means extreme close-up. And just the way these ultrawides are built gives them a much closer focusing distance than your main camera. Which is why with most flagship phones, when you bring them near to something, you should notice that little lens shift as the phone moves from its main cam to its ultrawide. And then we've got the other key lens, the telephoto, which I would genuinely say is the most misunderstood lens. So you might have heard, for example, that the iPhone 15 Pro Max have a five times zoom lens, and that the Samsung have a 10 times zoom lens. Well, that's not technically true. Let me show you. So this, this obviously is a silent process. So the stuff of sound that you hear on your phones is, let's say, silent. And that takes us to now. Now that we understand how the camera works, it's time to talk about the smartphone camera, because this is where things get weird. I mean, for starters, one of the biggest questions you might have is, why do I have two, or three, or four? It's not like you ever see a proper camera with that many lenses on it. Oh, what's the fool? Well, fundamentally, this is how smartphones achieve lens swapping. If I want to swap the lens of my camera, I do this, I unscrew it, I grab the lens that I want to replace it with, really like we are in the same room having a conversation. There's a lot of reasons why this whole interchangeable lens thing doesn't work on a phone. Very few people are going to want to carry around a pocket full of lenses. Having a detachable part like this is going to make it way harder to fully waterproof your phone. And also, are you going to take that lens off every time you put your phone away in your pocket? I mean, this hasn't stopped companies from trying, but I think they're trying knowing that it will never be for the masses. And so, what's had to be done on the smartphone is multiple cameras. Multiple completely separate, independent cameras, each with their own separate sensor, just so you can have different lenses available to you when you want them. So when you're in your camera app and you're clicking between your various magnifications, I know it feels like you're zooming in and then you're zooming out, but really you're flicking between... 